Hello, this is the story of two runners. Real story. Before we proceed to the story, click on the link below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, stay connected. A Kenyan runner and a Spanish runner. So Kenyan uh, runner was uh, much ahead and uh, he was running the race. He was close to the finish line, but uh, close to that, uh, he got a little confused with some uh, symbols there, some signs there. And he thought uh, that he has already finished and he kind of stopped. A Spanish runner who was uh, behind him, he, he noticed that there was some confusion going on, some chaos was there. And uh, he started shouting. He kept on, he, he kept on signaling to uh, the Kenyan runner that uh, the race is not yet over. Uh, keep running. He was not able to understand. So, in fact, the Spanish runner stopped, came to the Kenyan runner and pushed him to the finish line so that he was the winner. Now the race got over. The story also kind of gets over here. So there are reporters asked him, why did you do that? You could have won. Why did you push him? It was so easy for you to be the winner. He said, what would have this victory done to me? Was it my real victory? I did not uh, make him finish the race. He had already, he was the winner. So he was rightfully the winner and I just uh, uh, helped him cross over the finish line. That's what I did. Nothing more than that. But uh, uh, the reporters were prodding a little more. He said, was this my victory? If I had won, would this have been my victory? Absolutely not. Tell me what my mother would have thought about this when she would have come to know how I, how, how I became a winner. So very small story, very simple story and a, a profound lesson. Are you able to see people who are struggling in some way or the other, but with a little support, with a little guidance, with a little help, they can be winners in their life. Are you able to do that for them? And another part of this story is, again, comes back to values. Are you able to live your values? Are you able to accomplish your victories on the basis of merit? Or are you winning by just uh, making sure that you, you don't take care of others who are part of the whole race? This is what is a profound example of sportsman spirit. And this is what perhaps more and more is required in organizations also because we want more and more people to win. And a very interesting part is in the organizational setup, we all can win. See, the challenge that happens in the organizational context is when we start treating as either me or someone else, someone else or me. When we start thinking this or thinking is something which limits us. Here, what I'm suggesting is make your thinking and thinking mm -hmm. me and the other person. Both of us can win if we are able to help and support each other. Perhaps this kind of practice of values in our day to day lives is what is going to create great organizations. If uh, I, I relate it to my book, Irresistible Workplaces, in that also there is a chapter dedicated to the practice of values and leadership and how practice of values creates great organizations because practice of values creates great leaders and great leaders create great organizations, right? So this is the message in this story and uh, I'll keep sharing more in my upcoming videos.